What's up, everyone? It's your boy Osita Adventures, and today we're back with the what? With another banger. For those that don't know me, my name is Isaac, and I'm with Isaac's Mobile Detailing in the Bay Area, to be exact. So if you're ever in the Bay Area and you need a detail, don't hesitate to give us a call, and we'll be there at your convenience. With that being said, guys, what I want to talk about today is a bit more basic. I know you guys are going to be saying, man, Osito, this is some very basic information, and I know that's true but i kind of need some evergreen content in my channel so with that being said guys we're gonna go over how i go about doing my basic washes and i know you're saying i'll see the basic washes really yes guys we're gonna be dropping this video just to inform those of beginners because there's a lot of beginners out in this detailing industry so what i want to do is just go over how I do basic washes. In this vehicle, we're not gonna be doing no um, wax application. So there's no need to do no, um, we're not gonna be using no iron remover either. We're not gonna be doing a clay treatment. For those that don't know, a clay treatment is um, something that you would go over your vehicle with typically some soap, you know, or something some some type some type of lubrication you can use ONR Optimus no rinse you know diluted at I'm not sure what it is but you can go on and google that or I'll put it in the description just so you can know but basically it's, it's a step that you want to do to your vehicle if it's in very bad shape unfortunately not too long ago I uh, did a deep exterior detail on this vehicle so there's no need to um, do a clay treatment or iron remover as this vehicle is actually protected. We ended up protecting this vehicle with um, ceramic spray coating, not to be confused with the ceramic coating. It's more of a spray wax, but in the middle. So this is what I like to say is a sealant. You know, this is a sealant that we ended up applying to the vehicle. You get six months out of this sealant at least that's what they say in the label and um, some testers, what I've seen on YouTube and stuff have gotten close to six months out of it. But I like to guarantee this at six months. I mean, at three months. Sorry about that. But with that being said, guys, it's been about close to two months since I applied this spray wax coating onto the vehicle. So we're gonna see how it's holding up. And with that being said, guys, I do want to say that we're not going to be using our um, Turtle Wax uh, Extreme Wash, I think it is. I totally forgot. I'll, I'll make sure to put it on the screen, the name to it. We're not going to be applying this or using this. You guys know that you always make sure that I use this whenever I'm, you know, um, first taking care of a vehicle or actually going to apply some wax or some type of sealant onto it as this is actually a stripper. What I like to do is sometimes I even throw some um, super clean diluted 5 to 1 to ensure that I break down all the grime, all the dust before I take on that vehicle. And I know I'm yapping a lot so we're not going to continue to do that. We're going to go straight into the video. So please guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure you like comment and subscribe like i said this is going to be more of a basic wash you know for more of a beginner target So inside the foam cannon canister, we have about, I want to say, I think we added um, 16 ounces, guys. 16 ounces. Inside here, I have about 3 ounces of um, cherry foam by Superior Products. We're going to go on and mix this in. This is something that I started doing recently. Is, um measuring out my uh, dilutions just to try to keep an even balance at all times we're gonna see how this one foams as i haven't really tried that out at this dilution rate 
but it looks like it's gonna work so like I mentioned we're not gonna be using our turtle wax super cleaner just for the reason we're not trying to strip the sealant that we have on the vehicle the main things that we will be using is some of our dark furry if needed at some areas and we're gonna be finishing it off with our um, 40 mil of four you guys know I love this thing and then once I'm done with that I might go on and add a little bit of bead maker to give it a bit more protection Right there. Yeah, yeah, we have a nice little lineup right here that's gonna be able to help us get through this job. If we were doing a full um, sealing wax, you know, um, package, this would definitely go on and take care of it. We have a Formula Four. This is gonna help as a drying aid. If you ain't got no um, personal water tank on your van or anything, you're using the water hose. Very clutch right here. This is our dark furry. This is something that we like to use for we could go on and take care of the wheels, wheel wheels, sometimes even door jams, door um, areas, and then even bugs. You know, it's mainly for our bugs and our wheels that we like to do. But recently, we've been using this um wheel entire cleaner by adams polishes and i really enjoy this one a lot i feel like i'm able to see the the grime being cut down as i'm working with this so we have two bottles one for each person iron remover by um adams polishes we have this one right here but honestly I'm not a little huge fan of for this one. Um, I think it takes a little bit too long to work. So you could go on and pick up some of that nano skin one or that other one by uh, PNS, which is another one that we just recently picked up and we'll, we'll be show, showcasing in the future. I already yapped about this one, but which is going to mention that this is going to be our sealant if we were to perform that job. And then this is our aqua glass right here. This is straight aqua glass that we're going to be using for wheels. I'm um, telling people and, and I almost forgot to mention we're gonna be showcasing the big noodle super size microfiber wash mat. We're gonna be checking to see how I feel about these towards the end of the job. You know, we're gonna com compare one of these to like the, one of the rag company ones. As you guys can see, the size is huge. The size is the size difference is, is huge right there. You can definitely see it. I really do like these ones right here. Though. Yeah, I, I love these right here. They're very clutch. So we're gonna go on and drop this one in there. <laughs> Takes up most of the most of the space just with one of them. So and I do want to mention each one of these is $10.99 and each one of these you get two of them for $20.99 I think. So um in 21 or 20 dollars oh, yeah yeah this is more of my high-end you know uh, wash mats and stuff like that i kind of take care of these a bit more I, I i'm not saying that i don't take care of those as much either but these are a bit more high-end i would say If you have a, a turbo nozzle, I would definitely recommend using it at this point. If you don't, don't hesitate to go on and use what you got. But recently, since I picked one of these up, I started using it a lot. So that's the way we're going to go today. Always shoot the ground so you ensure that it's nice and tight and it won't hit the paint. Alright guys, so first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be laying down my wheel cleaner. In my wheel bucket, I already have my brushes with some soap up in here. So first things first is I'm going to start off with my, my uh, tires.
At that point, I'm gonna get my wheel wheel too. And while I'm letting that slope break down on my wheel. One of these rougher brushes just to get up in here. Now we're gonna get a whole wheel. If you want, go in and add some more cleaner. Use a more of a, a softer one. Trying to get all these angles. Just letting it go to work. Now we're gonna use this bad boy, get up inside here. I like to go left twice, right twice. Left twice, right twice. Go on and finish it off with the circle. Left right circle left right uh oh right circle left right circle and lastly we're gonna use this one for the lug nuts Now you can go on and switch tips to ensure you get everything nice and even. All right, guys, now that we took care of the wheels, we're gonna start getting started on the exterior. So we're gonna start spraying this down, okay? As I had mentioned, guys, you know, this vehicle was protected. So what, right now, as I'm, as I'm rinsing the vehicle off, I'm watching how it reacts. I'm trying to see if it's beating or sheeting or if I'm getting any type of action going on. And if you could bring in the camera, Junior, the detailer, much appreciated. You can see that it's, it's beating and it's still working. So our sealant that we added about close to two months ago is still nice and performing. As you can see. An area that typically gets affected pretty bad is over here. So we're gonna check this area over here. If you don't mind coming this way, we're gonna show you guys that um, typically the bottom panels are the ones that don't wanna perform as well. So we're gonna check. As you guys can see, it's sheeting, but we're not getting much beating up in there. So. That means that we got to kind of try to clean off the surface to let it work properly how it's supposed to. So we're going to continue rinsing off the vehicle. We're going to follow up with the foam and just get it done. Look at that beauty. Alright guys, so typically I'm a, I like to start off in the top. If I'm in a, working on the SUV, a big truck, I'm going to pull out whatever I need as I'm only a short guy and take care of this up here. This is a microfiber wash bonnet, I like to call it, just because um, it helps out keep this nice and clean by reaching areas that you probably wouldn't be able to and it fits in my wash bucket. 
so it always gets cleaned out nicely. I'm also gonna take care of my windows with this if I need to. Just for we can share, we clean off everything. What you drinking there? Huh? What you drinking there? You know, we're not on the job, so we're taking a quick little drink. So um, let me know guys if you guys want us to drop thirsty thursday podcast or something where we can have a drink and just talk about whatever it's nice after a nice detail. So, so as you guys can see now we're forming up the rest of the vehicle and like i said i wanted to take care of the top just because it's an area where it's a bit more complicated to get to so you know if you're working with somebody they can help you pass those those items that you might need to take care of it and if not you can take that time to get off of your you know stool whatever you're working with you know and grab those items like I said if you're working with a big truck oh this is a heavy wash man <laughs> is it yes try it Oh, uh, damn. Man, that thing's heavy. Okay, it gets so heavy that um, it almost feels like you're applying so much pressure onto your wash mitt, which you're not. It's just, it's heavy. Far guys, my thoughts on this one is that um, it's so heavy to the point where um, it gets you a little tired just, you know, using it. And not only that, it makes you feel like you're causing some type of harm onto the paint. Because it's just so heavy, guys. It's like, I don't know if you can see it just dangling. It, like I said, it feels like it's just... It's adding, it feels like you're adding pressure when you're not. Look, look guys, they're almost coming off my hands. They're almost slipping off. They're so heavy. All right, guys. Now that the car is nice and clean, we're gonna make sure that we lay down our drying aid. What do we have in here is some Formula 4. If you ain't got Formula 4, go on and use some um, Optimin, Optimin No Rinse. Why am I saying it like that? I don't know. But go on and grab some o and r and dilute it. I think um, as a, as a quick, quick detailer, and that would definitely work almost the same. This is to ensure that none of this soap gets stuck onto the, onto the surfaces to create any water spots or anything, especially working in the hot, sunny day or in direct sunlight. It's looking pretty good, it's coming along. We're about done. I think what we gotta do next is start off the drying process. I'm gonna make sure to attack it with my dryer. Then I'm gonna go on and, I mean my towel. Then I'm gonna go on and pull out my blower to make sure that we ensure a uh, nice even dry, get up in the cracks and crevices. Correct. And I got a little quick question for you for tonight. Yeah. Go on and ask so, me. Um, you know, since you've been like, you always are busy detailing other people's cars and um, now that you got your little vacation yeah how do you feel like i noticed that you're out here detailing your baby out here yeah yeah i had to make some time for it today you know i'm on a two-week vacation i'm super stoked i'm trying to make the best out of it so i made sure to um come and clean up my vehicle as they were looking kind of dusty musty and so now that they're looking well they're gonna be looking pretty sharp i'm gonna be feeling a lot more better whenever um i go approach these few jobs that we got coming up within the week you know, and so um, also when I'm out there um, talking to diff new cl potential clients, you know, my vehicle's looking nice and clean.
got to give it that good surface. Yeah. Yeah, these are the ones that take care of us. So if we could take care of them too, you know, it's definitely helpful. Oh yeah, definitely guys. But one thing I wanna encourage everybody is to not be afraid to start wherever you have to start. You know, I've been doing detailing for about uh, uh, close to a year and a half. You know, when I first when I first started, I got this one for 35 bucks, I think it was used. So, you know, don't be afraid to use what you have until you get what you need, you know? It does the job. It does the job. But if I do make an upgrade in the future, I would like to get like an ego blower, but if not, I would also, I wouldn't mind using like one of those blow blowers, you know, the, the blue ones that look pretty cool with the little gun looking like. They also have a Max Shine one looking very nice and beautiful, also in the red color. So I might consider those if I don't get the ego because the ego is pretty pricey. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up on this one. The way I like to finish off my wheels is by um, applying a little bit of bead maker onto my wheels just to give it kind of a, a little bit of protectant and it gives it a nice gloss too. So we're going to be doing that. Just let it, just polish it in. So guys, I really recommend people to use that bead maker just because it's phenomenal. It does a great job. And you can do quite a bit of things with that. Definitely. Now that we got that out the way. Alright, now we're gonna go on and apply our dressing. I want this to be dark, but not slingy. So I'm gonna Clean them off. So right now you about to hit it with the second pass? Yeah, correct. So I ended up um laying it down. I wiped it off and I'm laying some more um gloss. This is just gonna ensure that it gives it a deeper wet look. Alright, my detailing people, as he as can see, we are done with the workhorse. She's looking nice and clean. Still need to get a few little spots, but for today, she, that's going to do. I might add some bead maker, but I'm not too sure as I am kind of chilling today as it's my day off and I'm having a nice little refreshment beer. But as you guys can see, she is nice and clean, guys. I need to try to bring this these back right here soon in the future, like that trim right there and this one just to make it look nice and clean with that being said guys i think that's gonna wrap up today's video like i said i was just kind of a quick one and a basic one i just wanted to come through and show you guys exactly how i go about doing the wash express or a quick wash you know step by step if you took anything from this video you know i would greatly 
be appreciated if you can hit me with a like or possibly even a comment. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. It definitely helps the channel a lot. As you guys can see, we're almost at a thousand and we're rapidly growing. So I'm truly blessed and thankful for every single one of you guys. I appreciate you guys a lot. You give the motivation to continue to pump out these videos. With that being said, guys, I hope you have a great one. It's your boy, Osito and Adventures, and I'm gone. Remember, every day is a blessing and every struggle is a lesson. So don't be stressing. Yeah.